Well, it's been the subject of many personal opinions, and we will note that the Town of Mammoth Lakes Recreation Commission will hold a special workshop for the Community Multi-Use Recreation Facilities proposed at Mammoth Creek Park. That workshop coming up this Monday, March 6th at the Community Center on Forest Trail. Press release says the commission is seeking input from the public regarding the proposed phasing options, project timeline, funding strategies, operating plan, and year-round programming. Press release says with the community's help, can create a recreation destination that the entire community of Mammoth Lakes will actively enjoy, value, and ultimately be proud to call your park. Now, in preparation for that workshop, the commission recommends interested participants reviewing the facility programming information or playbooks collated from several plan MCP community workshops and examine the preliminary phase one designs and the complete facility design online. Now, the Recreation Commission is scheduled to formally discuss the proposed Mammoth Creek Park project at the regularly scheduled meeting Tuesday, March 7th, Sweet Z in Mammoth Lakes. And again, all interested parties are encouraged to attend. More information about Plan Mammoth Creek Park, you can contact Parks and Recreation Director and Public Information Officer Stuart Brown. We'll talk more about Stu here in just a moment at 760-965-3696 or go to the website planmcp.com. Well, at the annual California Parks and Recreation Society, that's the CPRS District 7 Awards and installation event, February 24th, Mammoth Lakes Trails and Park was awarded the prestigious Outstanding Facility Award. Armando Da Silva, president of District 7, and that includes Mono, Fresno, Kings, Madera, Tulare counties, presented the award in Hanford to Betsy Truax, chair of the Recreation Commission, as well as Stuart Brown, Parks and Recreation Director for the Town of Mammoth Lakes. Now, De Silva said, quote, Trail Ends Park is an outstanding facility incorporating unique characteristics in design and maintenance that clearly demonstrates the Park and Recreation's profession's mission, end quote. Now, said Stuart Brown, we were both thrilled to accept this tremendous honor on behalf of the town of Mammoth Lakes. I'd like to personally recognize Jane Bear, founder of the JLA project, as well as Mammoth Lakes Recreation, Measure R, Volcom, Wave Rave Snowboard Shop, and the many retail partners and generous donors and hundreds of volunteers who worked tirelessly over a decade to deliver a stunning recreation, recreational community park and world-renowned skate park for the community of Mammoth Lakes. And again, that was Stu Brown. Press release notes that Jane Bear, a powerful driving force in the creation of the Volcom Brothers Skate Park, channeled an amazing amount of grief into positive energy. Jane Bear stated that she just wanted to build a place where kids can be kids. Her philosophy was simple. Success starts with an idea or dream and is built by determination and an unwillingness to give up, end quote. Trails End Park, it's a 4.1 acre multi-generational park serving 8,000 residents of Mammoth Lakes, along with the yes, thousands of visitors from around the world. $2.34 million skate park features the world-renowned Volcom Brothers, as well as the Little Brothers Skate Park, small and inviting complimentary community park, theme playground, and new pavilion. Project began in 2004 with a community-wide groundbreaking event. And then on November 10, 2016, Mayor Shields Richardson of Mammoth Lakes officially cut the ribbon, celebrating the completion of this award-winning park. Now, also during that awards and installation of Brent, hey, the great Stuart Brown, Parks and Rec Director for Mammoth Lakes, he was also presented with the Outstanding Full-Time Employee Award. This award is presented to an individual that has demonstrated increasingly progressive job-related responsibilities, demonstrates new and innovative ideas in their areas of expertise, and has exhibited outstanding leadership qualities within the agency and community. Betsy Truax, the chair of the Recreation Commission, said, I am fortunate to receive Stewart's excellent and dedicated staff support to our commission. In addition to running the Parks Depart and Recreation Department, Stewart serves as the public information officer for the town, crafting timely outbound messaging, overseeing the many town communication channels, and demonstrating outstanding leadership throughout the community. He is truly the public face of the town, end quote.
Hey, Stu Brown was also appointed to the 2017-18 California Parks and Recreation Society District 7 Board of Directors. As a member at large, he'll be representing Mono County. Board's purpose to advance the park and recreation profession through education, networking, resources, and advocacy. Congratulations to the town, Traillands Park, and Stuart Brown. Well, as part of National Colon Cancer Awareness Month, Dr. Allison Brown will give a free educational talk on lowering risks for colon cancer. That's taking place Thursday, March 2nd, 6.30 p.m. Northern Inyo Healthcare District's Birch Street Annex. A press release notes that more than 140,000 men and women are diagnosed with colon cancer each year. Yet with early detection, this disease remains one of the most treatable forms of cancer. Dr. Robinson will talk about risk factors for developing colon cancer, steps that can prevent it, and the screening tests available detecting it. Again, that's tomorrow, Thursday, 6.30 p.m., Northern Inyo Healthcare District, Birch Street, Annex. We'll be back with a weather report.